128. Say, doth it beseem a man, while claiming to be a follower of his Lord the All-Merciful, he should yet in his heart do the very deeds of the evil one? Nay, it ill beseemeth him, and to this he who is the beauty of the All-Glorious will bear me witness, would that ye could comprehend it. Cleanse from your hearts the love of worldly things, from your tongues every remembrance except his remembrance, from your entire being whatsoever may deter you from beholding his face or may tempt you to follow the promptings of your evil and corrupt inclinations. Let God be your fear, O people, and be ye of them that tread the path of righteousness. Say, should your conduct, O people, contradict your professions, how think ye then to be able to distinguish yourselves from them who, though professing their faith in the Lord their God, have as soon as he came unto them in the cloud of holiness, refused to acknowledge him and repudiated his truth? Disencumber yourselves of all attachment to this world and the vanities thereof. Beware that ye approach them not, inasmuch as they prompt you to walk after your own lusts and covetous desires, and hinder you from entering the straight and glorious path. Know ye that by the world is meant your unawareness of him who is your maker, and your absorption in aught else but him. The life to come, on the other hand, signifieth the things that give you a safe approach to God, the all-glorious, the incomparable. Whatsoever deterreth you in this day from loving God is nothing but the world. Flee it, that ye may be numbered with the blessed. Should a man wish to adorn himself with the ornaments of the earth, to wear its apparels or partake of the benefits it can bestow, no harm can befall him if he alloweth nothing whatever to intervene between him and God. For God hath ordained every good thing, whether created in the heavens or in the earth, for such of his servants as truly believe in him. Eat ye, O people, of the good things which God hath allowed you, and deprive not yourselves from his wondrous bounties. Render thanks and praise unto him, and be of them that are truly thankful. O thou that hast fled thy home and sought the presence of God, proclaim unto men the message of thy Lord, that it may haply deter them from following the promptings of their evil and corrupt desires, and bring them to the remembrance of God the most exalted, the most great. Say, Fear God, O people, and refrain from shedding the blood of any one. Contend not with your neighbor, and be ye of them that do good. Beware that ye commit no disorders on the earth, after it hath been well ordered, and follow not the footsteps of them that are gone astray. Whoso ariseth among you to teach the cause of his Lord, let him before all else teach his own self, that his speech may attract the hearts of them that hear him. Unless he teacheth his own self, the words of his mouth will not influence the heart of the seeker. Take heed, O people, lest ye be of them that give good counsel to others, but forget to follow it themselves. The words of such as these, and beyond the words, the realities of all things, and beyond these realities, the angels that are nigh unto God, bring against them the accusation of falsehood. Should such a man ever succeed in influencing anyone, 
this success should be attributed not to him, but rather to the influence of the words of God, as decreed by him who is the Almighty, the All-Wise. In the sight of God, he is regarded as a lamp that imparteth its light, and yet is all the while being consumed within itself. Say, commit not, O people, that which will bring shame upon you or dishonor the cause of God in the eyes of men, and be not of the mischief-makers. Approach not the things which your minds condemn. Eschew all manner of wickedness, for such things are forbidden unto you in the book which none touch except such as God hath cleansed from every taint of guilt and numbered among the purified. Be fair to yourselves and to others, that the evidences of justice may be revealed through your deeds among our faithful servants. Beware, lest ye encroach upon the substance of your neighbor. Prove yourselves worthy of his trust and confidence in you, and withhold not from the poor the gifts which the grace of God hath bestowed upon you. He verily shall recompense the charitable, and doubly repay them for what they have bestowed. No God is there but Him. All creation and its empire are His. He bestoweth His gifts on whom He will, and from whom He will He withholdeth them. He is the great giver, the most generous, the benevolent. Say, Teach ye the cause of God, O people of Baha, for God hath prescribed unto every one the duty of proclaiming his message, and regardeth it as the most meritorious of all deeds. Such a deed is acceptable only when he that teacheth the cause is already a firm believer in God, the supreme protector, the gracious, the almighty. He hath moreover ordained that his cause be taught through the power of men's utterance, and not through resort to violence. Thus hath his ordinance been sent down from the kingdom of him who is the most exalted, the all-wise. Beware lest ye contend with anyone, nay, strive to make him aware of the truth with kindly manner and most convincing exhortation. If your hearer respond, he will have responded to his own behoof. And if not, turn ye away from him and set your faces towards God's sacred court, the seat of resplendent holiness. Dispute not with anyone concerning the things of this world and its affairs, for God hath abandoned them to such as have set their affection upon them. Out of the whole world he hath chosen for himself the hearts of men, hearts which the hosts of revelation and of utterance can subdue. Thus hath it been ordained by the fingers of Baha upon the tablet of God's irrevocable decree, by the behest of him who is the supreme ordainer, the all-knowing.